guys I need to go for a drive quite bad um, I don't know just some things starting to happen um, I'm actually kind of getting really worried about student loans because uh, I'm not able to pay $500 a month they are getting what they can get and hopefully that's good enough but anyways I don't know I don't want to I don't want to indulge in stupid stuff like that and take away from the vibes because today we very well might end up in Lake Erie I don't know for sure I'm just kind of driving around and uh yeah we'll see where we end up guys I think I might be doing it I, I think I might have just made the decision and you know we might uh trek up to to Lake Erie I can't remember the exact miles like 237 or something one way or is it 137? Maybe it's only like 137. I don't think it's. I don't think it's in the 200s. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. What's I, I kind of want to go the other way, which is a much longer way because it's um it's not on 79. So basically, I can either just like jump on 79 north and just ride that the whole time. Uh, now the problem with that is one it might be boring but two the bigger issue at least um, you know for you guys is once I get up to speed like that it's it makes the audio kind of crappy and um, yeah it, it, it just doesn't sound good so what I think I'm gonna end up doing is maybe um Maybe I'll ride 79 for a little while there, and then maybe about halfway through, I'll jump off. Because 79 will take me like, I think it's like two and a half hours, but to do it the other way, it's like five and a half hours. And I guess I do kind of got the time I'm off today, but I don't know. We'll, um, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm excited though. I, I like going on adventures. Just wish I wasn't super stressed out about stupid stuff. I know he's turning, but still, I don't really, uh, I don't know. I should have went, I guess. Anyway, we'll just cut this out. So now, we're still trying to get out of the city. We're actually, uh, getting a little, little jammed up. Not much, um, on one of the main artery roads that bleeds into, uh, Pittsburgh. So, uh, I don't know, we might, we might end up having to go through one of the tunnels. I'm not sure. We're just going to skate around it. So, you know, if that happens or whatever, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. I'm a little, I don't know, the, the GPS keeps on doing weird stuff where it wants to, um, it's, it's not taking me on the exact route that I want to go. This route is like, you know, two and a half hours but I kind of wanted to do the other route, but every time I go for it, it like, I don't know, insists that I go this way. So I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen. We'll, uh, we'll just keep on riding around and figure out what's going on. But all in all, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I've never been to Lake Erie. Aw, oh, crap, I forgot my vows. Uh, I was gonna take sediment samples, shit. Uh, maybe I have some kind of container. Or just gives me another excuse to come back to Lake Erie, I guess. Uh, that kind of sucks, but whatever. But I'm going to keep the camera rolling if we are indeed going through Pittsburgh. It looks like we're going to go on the outside of it. Pittsburgh is very nice. Okay, and here, and I-79 north. I-79, keep right. And here we are, I-79. Are we on I-79? We are, all right guys. So far, so freaking good. I know this is uh, gets a little busy. This is an interesting road. I like cities because they have uh, different architecture. Please see I didn't go the wrong way. And this GPS is being all kinds of stupid today, so I don't know. Alright guys, I will uh, get back to you whenever we find something else 
rather interesting and I will shut this off whenever I am able to work the controls appropriate all day. So, I guess, and I hope you guys can hear me, that's what I was saying, like, one of the problems that might be with this is, you know, the, the high speed and the, um, you know, the wind. But one thing I will notice about uh, going on uh, roads like this for an extensive amount of time, the Ninja 650 is fully capable of doing it, but I will say that it feels like an entry-level touring bike in the sense that yeah you can do it and i'm not uncomfortable per se but you can you can tell that you know if this is something you really want to do like you know really uh go cross country and stuff like that you know uh a ninja 1000 sx would definitely be uh uh, another option that you would probably want to go with like I said you can you can make it work with the 650 and I'm, I'm not very far far in you know I'm going to give another um, you know another uh, uh, input whenever I'm coming back you know probably when I'm getting real close to becoming home because then I would have been on the road for like about four or five hours maybe six to eight hours if I if I go the other way which is what I'm going to try to do um, but uh, yeah, as of right now, it's not bad. You know, something like that would definitely be more uh, more comfortable if he was wearing all his gear, of course. And uh, yeah, but it could be done with a 650. Like I said, I'm not uncomfortable, but I can just tell uh, where there would be room to grow. You know what I mean? So it's all good. What are you doing? And why are my hands going numb so bad? Shit, this is kind of a pain in the butt. Never really happened before. Really fun drive. Doesn't really seem like there's too much to see, if I'm being completely honest. This would be nice in the fall. It's just, I mean, we're kind of going up the, the western side of PA. Uh, all the fun geology stuff's on the, more on the central to eastern side, but hey, you know what? We're gonna go see some moraines. We're gonna see some glacial deposits. We're gonna use both lanes to merge to a point. I mean, everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. What's it say? Left lane closed. Uh, that's that one. Right lane still open. Thing, uh, so here's an interesting traffic pattern uh, to kind of pay attention to. I need to pass that semi. But make sure when you go to pass a semi, you are wide open. That fucking um, Nissan, whatever the hell it is, it's kind of like in my way, but now that he's out of my way, I can accelerate through. And there you go. That was actually my first time ever hitting uh, triple digits on this thing. Yeah, you are. Uh, you always want to pass semis like very quickly, uh, not saying do it at 100, but you know, if there's a semi, you need to pass it, but there's another guy who is like kind of in front, but like not all the way for you to like get to safety, you know, just chill and just wait, you know what I mean? Just chill and wait. I think we got another uh, hour, hour and a quarter till we get to Lake Erie kind of in this little stuck of traffic. That's one thing that I noticed that I'm going to need to invest in is uh, hearing protection. Because it's not that it's loud, it's loud enough, but it's continuous. And there's a term for it, and I, I can't remember what the term is, but you know, I used to think, you know, hey, 650, it's not loud. The helmet, yeah, it's kind of loud at higher speeds, but you know, it's okay. It is, it's, it's not bothersome, bothersome, but I have tinnitus. So I, uh, I, I know that I'm going to be feeling it later on today. So definitely hearing protection. But this is nice. We're just kind of cruising. I, I think there's like road work or something or another going on.
kind of getting a little, uh, I'm tucked in a little bit as much as you can, like, really tuck in on a Ninja 650, because, uh, that wind really does kind of tire you out, like, I mean, you don't really think about it, but when you're, uh, doing 80 for an extensive amount of time, it starts wearing on you. I'm also starting to figure out, like, how to really, uh, uh, you know, accelerate. I don't know what I'm trying to really say because my fingers keep on getting numb. And uh, I think there's a, a, a better way to do it than I've been doing it. So, you know, I'll share that here in a little bit. But yeah, we're just still cruising. We are still cruising on to Lake Erie. Yeah, like I said, there's not much, much, much going on. What's interesting too is like at these speeds, at this uh, extensive amount of time doing it, uh, my skin's getting itchy. Uh, I know wind burn is a thing. My jacket is very porous or aerated, so it allows a lot of airflow, which is great. But would that necessarily be something that you would want on an extended trip going this quick for such a long uh, duration? That I don't know. That I don't know. Yeah. I can feel, I can feel my wheel, my front wheel, wheel wanting to stabilize a little bit more at those quicker speeds. So, no, that's definitely not my thing, and that's okay. I don't, I don't have a problem with like not doing a uh, Mach 5 uh, on a motorcycle. Anyways, I would do Mach 5 in other situations, but not necessarily on a motorcycle. That's not a glacial deposit. I don't know what one is. Getting pretty close now, guys. I haven't really been recording too, too much of like the way out there because honestly, I mean, there's, there's really nothing to see. Uh, that and well, I, I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over. You know, the wind and all that. But you know, we're getting real close now. Uh, GPS has about 20 minutes or so. Uh, I did this without no stops either. I wanted, I really wanted to do a, like an endurance run, and you know, two and a half, three hours on the bike or whatever, whatever it was. Um, it's not bad. It's it's not bad. I'm sore. I'm not I'm not saying that I'm not sore, but uh, it's it's 110 percent doable, uh, or at least this this one is. We'll we'll really feel see how I feel whenever I get home. You know today, but yeah, so far so good, guys. We uh we should be getting real close and maybe starting to see some pretty nice features now. Things are starting to flatten out a little bit. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Getting real close now, but uh, oh man, it feels so weird going slow. Like anything above like 50 seems like a crawl, it's crazy. Oh man, definitely want to get you know the ocean or the ocean, the lake because this is actually the first time I've ever been here. I've, I've never been here before, I've never been up this far north before, so. We'll see what happens. And I'm hoping this will take me where I want it to, at least on GPS. I mean, that's what it was uh, showing me. But who knows if that's actually true or not. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Pretty nice area, though. Roads are... A little, little butt, but the houses are nice-ish. Yeah, those are nice houses. What am I saying? Don't be such a shrewd. A shrew? A shrewd did it? Mm, 
Somebody just cut grass and it smells fabulous. Yeah, I guess since we're uh, we're coming up, what are you doing? I guess uh, just quickly talk about you know the trip and what it's been like. It really wasn't too bad, like I said before. I mean, it. Uh, I'm sore. I acknowledge the fact that I'm sore, but it's definitely it's definitely doable. Um, I don't know. I guess I really didn't have anything else to say about that. I'm, I'm just kind of excited and hoping that it'll drop me off where I I want it to or think it will. What is that? It's a frog. Interesting. You eerie people and your frogs. What is that goofy looking thing? A Range Rover Defender? The hell's it defending? Not as not as integrity. It's integrity, integrity farms. Three minutes. I've still yet to see the lake. I don't see it on the map. It does feel noticeably cooler right now though. A good 15 degrees, I would say that. I would say that so much. No stop sign. I don't have a stop sign. It's weird that I don't have a stop sign there, but... Hey, who am I? What a nice day to do this, too. I mean... Oops. Hopefully I didn't ruin all that video. What a nice day to do it, too. Where's the lake? It's a puddle of water carved out by glaciers in the last glacial maxima. Really cool stuff. Glacial geology is not bad. It's not boring. It's, it's, you know, it's interesting. You know, it's not my favorite uh, geology, uh, but still it's, you know, geomorph. So that's pretty cool. So I get a fucking $500 a month bill for student loans. Oh man, I really hope I can get a hold of that and get this all taken care of. Is it this road? What's this? This is interesting. Okay, I see the I see the lake on the uh, on the GPS now. This is nice. I'm proud that I did this. I mean, it's, it's not that it's like a huge accomplishment or anything like that, but um, it's still something. And I might have to stop to adjust the GPS because it's taking me right here, but I want to go right to the lake. So I might have screwed up. I don't know where any of this goes. Oh, and that says dead end. Okay, so, you know, that's okay. Oh, this is a campground. Interesting. So I'm going to have to get adjusted real quick. Oh, so I can see exactly where we're going. Oh, no, not up a gear. Neutral rule. I just want to be somewhere. Actually, what I wanted to do... What's this? How do I get on this? Is this a road? Yeah, I want I want to go here. That's where I want to go. Nine minutes. Okay. Well, I will see you guys here in a couple minutes. I might just like find a place to park and kind of walk. To it like anywhere like literally right there is great I think that's what I'm gonna do now one thing I also want to do is see if I can find like a nice rock to uh, 
to kind of put my kickstand on because uh, you don't want it just chilling like that. But that's that's fine. Oh. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. Oh yeah, it's actually my first, very first time ever being out this way. Oh, okay. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Well, welcome to my hometown. Oh, is you you live here your whole life? Ah, uh, no, no, I live a lot of places. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, first time ever seeing it. Oh, I love living here. It's nice. Really? I like the rocks already. Oh yeah, we're getting some rocks, we're getting some sand. Look at these people getting some sun. Lake Erie. Huh. And there's like nobody here. Well, I mean there's people here, but... Man. Well, I guess that's it. Time to go home. It's like, no. <laughs> we're getting some sand. We're going to get some rocks. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. I got sand in my pants. Oh, no, people, don't do the whole trash thing. Trash those trash, don't you know? Don't you know that? I kind of want to just go to the water, check it out, and not lose my keys. Oh. Do not lose the keys. Man, my. Already, huh? Lake Erie. Carved out by glaciers. Maximum depth is like in the 230s. Average depth is in the 60s. Can't remember exactly how far it is across. Uh, it's like 200 something miles. It's, it's not little. It's not little. It's part of the Great Lakes. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Well, guys, I might might kind of end it here. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. You know, I got. I got all the way out here. I really don't know what to do now. If I'm being honest. Um. So, I don't know. Maybe we're just chill and and I'll be right back. We made it. We made it all the way to Lake Erie. Um, it really wasn't a bad drive, like I said. Uh, quite enjoyable. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do up here, but I'm, I might. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing is um, I'm going to think of a couple videos to shoot and. Uh, just to shoot them here might as well it'll be a change of scenery it'll be a backup of archive videos and all that but hey thank you guys so much for watching i uh, really do appreciate it don't forget to to share comment like subscribe all that fun stuff uh just let me know how we're doing you know what i mean i, I like hearing from you guys I like hearing your guys's feedback and uh yeah really cool I'm really happy that I d did this. I was really on the fence of doing it um, because I didn't have my um, my tire repair kit yet. So hopefully I won't need that, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you can't let fear keep you from doing things. What would have been the worst that could have happened? A flat tire, expensive bill. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Life's short. Enjoy it. Go on a random trip. Get your Ninja 650. And just go. Because you can quite easily do that on that bike. You know how much this trip cost me? From Pittsburgh to Lake Erie? About $4. Cost me about 4 freaking dollars. But 
I don't know. I don't want to take too much of your time. And I'm also on the beach wearing a helmet looking like a weirdo. So I will see you guys later. Again, thank you for watching. And uh, stay tuned.